Hello guys, and welcome to another Terminator video. This has been requested for quite some time, and I have... Finally, I have the time to make this video for you guys. I know it's been a long time, but let's fucking go. So for today's video, we have the T-3000 to cover. So let's jump right in. The T-3000 is an extremely advanced Terminator model series produced by Skynet in late 2029. Unlike the previous lines of infiltrators created by Skynet, the units of the T-3000 were humans who had been transformed through exposure to a type of a machine face matter. The face matter would completely rewrite the victim's genetic coding, forcing their body to be transformed on a cellular level. At the end of the war, Skynet was trying to develop a new type of infiltration unit by infecting human subjects with machine face matter. It restructures and rebuilds human tissue on a cellular level of maximum combat utility. All the humans who went through this process were driven insane during the experimental stage, which later killed them. This makes John Connor the only known successful example. On a personal note, I love this Terminator idea, I think it's terrific, just that it had to happen to John Connor of all people. Similar to models possessing the mimetic polyalloy, the machine face matter could be used to develop stabbing weapons and granting the individual regenerative and impersonation abilities. While the T-1000 had the ability to separate smaller parts of itself and control those parts remotely to act as a sort of tracking device, the T-3000 however lacks this ability. It has exchanged that for greater durability and damage resistance, as well as the ability to regenerate at a faster rate than the T-1000 ever could. The T-3000 displays immense physical strength, being able to fully lift a T-800 with one hand and throw it at a significant distance without requiring momentum or leverage. Its most impressive ability would be that it is capable of dispersing its face matter momentarily and reassemble elsewhere, granting the T-3000 enhanced combat and infiltration abilities compared to other models. The natural abilities of the host were enhanced by the face matter, and due to its origin as a human, a T-3000 possesses a full grasp of human emotions and is able to, sh to show them convincingly. So, whether or not the unit can still actually feel emotions is still unknown, but since it still retains his or her memories prior to being exposed to the face matter and transforming into a T-3000, it still retains all the memories, so it is still able to replicate emotions much better than any previous model so far. So it is also, when it comes to its internal structure, it, it is also able to convincingly bleed. But then, as he's about to reveal himself as a Terminator, the face matter rejoins with him, it decolors into a silver metallic structure and then it becomes part of him again. And that is a very, very nice add-on to, to the model. I guess I can go over some of its weaknesses. Since the, the face matter is being held together by a very powerful magnetic field, disrupting said magnetic field would weaken the T-3000 momentarily. So in the movie, they construct a gauntlet uh, made out of magnets, which he can then use to punch John and then disable or disrupt his magnetic field. This is only slightly effective, but it works. Pops later uses a laser which uh, he cuts through John, thus destroying some of his face matter, meaning that he could be destroyed in if he faced uh, prolonged exposure to such an attack. But this destroys some of his face matter, meaning that he cannot assume his uh, human form again. He's now stuck in his uh, machine look. But that's basically it about the T-3000. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have another model you would like me to cover, please write it, write it down in the comments and I'll do it when I have time. Thank you guys so much.